Hello, my name is Dhruv and I'm a technical account manager here at the AWS office in Portland. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an application load balancer and register Amazon Elastic Container Service tasks automatically. Let's get started. First, let's navigate to the EC2 console. Then, in the navigation pane, select Target Groups. Choose Create Target Group. Now, you will see options to configure the target group the way you want. You can also give it a name. For target type, choose one of the options, either instances or IP. It's important to remember that if your services task definition uses the AWS VPC network mode, which is required for the AWS target launch type, you must choose IP as the target type. This is because tasks that use the AWS VPC network mode are associated with an Elastic Network interface. These tasks are in, associated with an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instance. Give it a name under the target group name. For this case, I'm going to call it test. Next, select the VPC that you want the target group to be associated with. Let's keep the other settings as is and choose next. Because there are no instances at this time, we'll skip this next step and choose create target group. Now that the target group is in place, let's navigate to the EC2 console again. But this time, we'll choose load balancers in the navigation pane. Choose create load balancer and then select application load balancer. In the next window, we'll make some changes to the basic configuration. Let's start with the name. I'll name this test ALB. Scroll down and select the VPC and a minimum of two subnet mappings. Then select the security group that you want to associate with the application load balancer. In the listeners and routing section, let's select either HTTP or HTTPS, and then select the target group that we created earlier. After you review the configuration, choose Create Load Balancer. Wait for the application load balancer to be created, and voila. Finally, let's create an ECS service using this application load balancer. Navigate to the ECS console. In the navigation pane, select clusters, and then select your cluster. In the cluster that we selected, let's navigate to the services tab where we'll choose create. You must make sure that you have a task definition already created. Also note that if you want to use a load balancer, you must have a container port in your task definition. In the deployment configuration section, enter the service name. I'm using test ECS in this case, the task definition family to be used, enter the number of tasks that you need, and then edit the other values as desired. In this case, I'm leaving them as the default values. Next, in the load balancing section, select the load balancer type as ALB, and then select the ALB that we created previously. In the container to load balance section, confirm that the container name and port are correct. For target group name, choose the target group that you created previously in the target group section. When that is completed, go to the next step. Review it and create the service. Choose View Service and then choose the Tasks tab. Choose the Refresh icon and then verify that your tasks are in the running state. When you see your task running, open the Amazon EC2 console. Choose target groups and then choose the target group that you created previously in the create a target group section. To view the registered targets in the target group, choose the targets tab. That is it. So now you know how to create an application load balancer and register ECS tasks automatically. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.